This is another example of my audio circuit for my Safe and Sound Audio project, my hearing guard system. Uh, this is uh, using the Sharp 96 LCD display on top of a MSP432. And then I have an audio circuit that's on a breadboard that's reading in the values, uh, the audio values. Um, this is, uh, I'm using uh, at this time Energia, or Energia, I don't know how it's actually pronounced. Um, the IDE from TI, which is basically an Arduino IDE. And uh, this actually, for the MSP432, there are multitasking or multi, um, multitasking options with inside there. I, I believe it uses TI RTOS in the background to, to uh, deal with the different tasks. And those get um, actually designed in different tabs. Um, so with the auto circuit right now, I have a, a max value that's set to. So as I speak louder, you can see the, the max value starts going up. Task 1. And uh, it'll, it, that's going to be a reference for later on. I have uh, different indicators that are going to uh, be used for the different dB levels. But right now, this is just an indication of uh, the value that's coming in. And with inside here, so I'm using over here with uh, the Energia IDE. I have different tabs for the different tasks. I have a Sharp 96 LCD task that runs. And then I have some globals that are set. I had to do this because otherwise I had some problems with uh, the values getting going going back and forth. Um, then I have an LED output that's for the, the light bar that's back there that still displays every now and then. Um, and then the audio input, the analog input. So this is reading uh, the value that came in from uh, the audio circuit. And then, uh, so all these tasks are running. They're actually running, I guess, at the same time. But they're running at different intervals, so the different times that they come in. And right now I have, uh, from the serial display, you can see those right here. I have it stopped. You can see the LED output. And I have the sample. And then I have the value read by the audio, which is from the, the microphone. So these are the three different tasks that I have that are, that are actually coming from Energia. And they're all running. If I, if I allow it to auto-scroll, if it actually would auto-scroll, but it's not going to at this time right because i've got a demo there it goes so i to restart it so uh there's all the tasks that are running and you can see how the audio uh, task is actually running multiple times and then the led pops up and the sample will pop up periodically as well and there it goes and the sample is what's actually being displayed out on the screen so this is a, a basic example i must have a short i must be pulling on something because it keeps resetting um uh, a good example of actually doing multitasking and and uh, this is going to be ported over to uh, Code Composer and using TIR TOS for the different tasks uh, to handle the display for the audio circuit and um, the other features that I have inside there. So this is just a beginning of that uh, just to, to show kind of basically what's going to be happening. So it's a, it's a nice little way to prototype within uh, uh, using the uh, Energia IDE and uh, quick and dirty. And that's what I got.